With $4 billion food delivery acquisition, Korea poised to enter up a tier of startup hubs. Seoul and South Korea may well be the secret startup hub that, still, no one talks about. While often dwarfed by the scale and scope of the Chinese startup market next door, South Korea has proven over the last few years that it can, and will, enter the top tier of startup hubs. Case in point, Beedle Min Jok, typically shortened to Beemin, one of the country's leading food delivery apps, announced an acquisition offer by Berlin-based Delivery Hero in a blockbuster $4 billion transaction late this week, representing potentially one of the largest exits yet for the Korean startup world. The transaction faces antitrust review before closing, since Delivery Hero owns Beeman's largest competitor Yojio, and therefore is conditional on regulatory approval. Delivery Hero bought a majority stake in Yojio way back in 2014. Delivery Hero takes majority stake in its big rival in Korea, Beedle Tong. What's been dazzling though is to have witnessed the growth of this hub over the past decade. As TechCrunch's former foreign correspondent in Seoul five years ago and a university researcher locally at K-State years ago, I've been watching the growth of this hub locally and from afar for years now. While the country remains dominated by its chable tech conglomerates, none more important than Samsung, it's the country's startup and culture industries that are driving dynamism in this economy. And with money flooding out of the country's pension funds into the startup world, both locally and internationally, even more opportunities await entrepreneurs willing to slough off traditional big corporate career paths and take the startup route. Beeman's original branding was heavy on the illustrations. Five years ago, Beeman was just an app for chicken delivery with a cutesy and creative interface facing criticism from restaurant franchise owners over fees. Now, its motorbikes are seen all over Seoul and the company has installed speakers in many restaurants where a catchy whistle and the company's name are announced every time there is an online delivery order. Flare-up over food delivery fees has South Koreans debating the marketplace model. Last week when I was in Seoul, one restaurant seemingly received an order every one to three minutes with a beetle minjok order. Announcement that made eating a quite distracted experience. Amazing product marketing tactic though that I am surprised more US-based food delivery startups haven't copied yet. The strengths of the ecosystem remain the same as they have always been. A huge workforce of smart graduates, Korea has one of the highest education rates in the world, plus a high youth unemployment and underemployment rate have driven more and more potential founders down the startup path rather than hold for more on this story, visit the news article link.